Okay, Courtline. So what is Courtline? Well, Courtline is a web-based solution suited to tennis clubs and other tennis facility providers. It provides essential tools for assessment of tennis operations and business management. And it's currently deployed to 28 websites. And alongside the business and management tools, it provides detailed analytics of system usage, enabling accurate stats reporting and performance monitoring. Why did we create it? Well, firstly, to allow Tennis for Free to capture accurate quantitative data to assess the effectiveness of the Tennis for Free scheme and to showcase it to others. Prior to Courtline, the data we collected was largely uh, anecdotal data, case studies, um, site attendees were reported uh, to us uh, based on head counts. Uh, and this data, when we were applying for grants and trying to get sponsors on board, this wasn't hard hitting enough. We felt we needed something that would more accurately portray the activities and the successes of Tennis for Free. Secondly, to give site operators the tools to capture attendee details and communicate with them to promote their wider program services to these newly interested players. It's important, obviously, that Tennis for Free would provide the initial interest uh, for somebody to pick up a racket and try tennis, but we really wanted to go the extra mile here to help those tennis providers capture those new tennis players and try and get them uh, on their programs uh, and basically turn these uh, newly interested people into tennis players and Courtline has been very focused in that area to, to allow the maximum retention um, uh, and the frequency of play based on, uh, based on this service. And thirdly, to license the software to third party tennis operators, tennis clubs, tennis service deliverers to enable funds generation for the Tennis for Free charity. What are the main features? Okay, there's an online membership management system, there's tools to communicate with members and registered users, there's an online court booking system, kiosk facility management to allow uh, the tennis provider to book in services themselves uh, as well as people booking in uh, on events, courses, courts for, from the, their home computers. Um, as a members and registered users forum and social module, there's an events management and ticketing section, coaching course session management system where um, the, the, the tennis provider can set out events uh, and courses uh, and people can book them online. There's an online store and as we talked about before and are about to talk about a bit more, uh, an advanced system analytics engine uh, built into the software. So, the court line stats, uh, what do they look like and uh, how do we organize this data? Well, firstly, it's important to understand the structure of court line sites, and that is that court line sites are either standard sites or a master site, and there's a slight difference in configuration in the software. A court line standard site will host the domain name, and that's the website of the tennis provider, like here, Georgians Club dot com and uh, Priory Park in Harringay or Tennis at Cataway in Hounslow. These are individual websites where users of the facility will go on, book courts, book onto events, and all of those stats that are collated from those sessions, that all the activity, those stats will be available to those site administrators in their back office. Now a courtline master site can link standard sites together and collate all those uh, standard site stats so that the master site is essentially a true picture of all of the standard sites underneath it. And a master site, in our case, Tennis for Free, with all our schemes underneath the standard sites, but that could be an NGB site with all its programs as individual websites underneath. It could be a big sports provider with the main central sports club as the master site, and all the local clubs um, can be feeding up that data to the master site. So there you have it. That's uh, the structure of the court line sites. Okay, so let's take a look at a standard courtline site and its related admin panel. So first up here is uh, Tennis at Cataway. We showed you that on the, uh, the chart just a few moments ago. And Tennis at Cataway here, this is their website. They're displaying a bit of an intro on the homepage, everything they've got going on. Uh, I can have a quick overview here, what we offer. See the various services on offer, cardio tennis, mini tennis, Tennis Express. And these can be clicked in via the various sites. They're offering uh, services in Lambton Park, Elthorne Park. I'm going to go into here, have a look at the calendar, 
and uh, I can book onto any of these sort of events here uh, for each of my family members. Okay, so that's basically uh, an example of the front end of a website. So here we have the admin panel of a standard court line site. Now the administrator of this site kindly given us permission to go in and have a look. Um, so the administrator in this case will be able to go into their own court line administration panel and manage the various aspects of their website. Here on the user details page they can go through the various users uh, and they can click their name to simply send them an email. They can flag, they can click the flag icon here that will uh, flag them to be in a, a color flag category that they can assign to newsletter groups. Um, they can run a newsletter straight off the, the system here. Uh, from the newsletter section, there's various email templates, all kinds of tools to mu communicate with their, uh, with their audience. There's also the stats section that's very important to allow them to understand how their tennis services are being perceived. And firstly, we've got geolocation. And there you can see that obviously there's two batches of people. This is because there's two sites operating off this website. There's a Elthorn Park here and Lampton Park in Hounslow here. So the tennis provider will be able to go in and see whether their marketing's been effective, areas where they could do with getting more people. Okay, there's also attendance stats. And on the attendance stats here, we've got a drop down of the various different related categories. Here we're going to look at tennis for free, and here's a, a line graph and then a pie chart to show the attendance breakdown. So here you can see 9 to 15 male, 21% of attendees are of that category, the largest being 28% to 25 to 49 year old male, and a nice little spread across all the different categories as you can see there. Okay, next we've got in session stats. The in session stats will show each individual event that the tennis provider has laid on and that tennis provider can go into this section and just have a look through all of the different events they've got going on and they can click in and have a look at any one for example this one here on the 6th of the 7th 2015 and they go in and see this was a tennis for free event and there were 37 people attended here and the different breakdowns of ages uh, and categories, gender categories there too so a very useful tool to just have a little overview of all the individual uh, sessions on at that particular program. There's also ethnicity breakdown. Sites have the option to opt in to displaying ethnicity. If they do opt into it, it will display an ethnicity box on the registration, therefore capturing an ethnicity at the time of registration. And here you can see the different categories um, of ethnicity the general events, tennis for free, registrations and here we're looking at tennis for free and, uh, and as you can see here quite an ethnically diverse area with 62% of attendees being of Indian ethnicity and their second biggest being white British at 12%. The tennis provider can also look at the frequency uh, retention rates of their program so here the different categories we're looking at group coaching here and as you can see here, um, a nice spread of, uh, of retention rate, frequency of attendance. So here we're looking at the top category here, 31%, which is basically showing that 31% of players have attended 12 to 19 events laid on by the tennis provider. Okay, so some great set of stats there for the uh, tennis provider to analyze and also some really useful communication tools to uh, engage with their target audience. So let's take a look at a Courtline master site and its admin panel. So here we're looking at the Tennis for Free website that's been set up as a Courtline master site. So people just go on, browse a bit of information about the Tennis for Free scheme and all of the standard Courtline sites uh, that have been linked to this master site will have all of their data populate into the admin panel of the Tennis for Free uh, Courtline Master site. So here we'll go into the admin panel, which is obviously, of course, only available to uh, administrators that have been given that permission. And here we can go in and have a look at uh, the entire user base. And here we can see all of the users of the Tennis for Free website. If I scroll to the very bottom, 
here I can see that we've got 15,660 people who have registered on Tennis for Free or one of its linked standard sites. Okay, we can also have a look at the different stats sections of the Courtline Master site. Uh, you'll see it looks very similar to the standard sites here with just two extra sections here. There's a socio-economic section. This enables us to go in and have a little look at, uh, at the map of where everyone's from. The green through to red is population density. So where areas are red, they'll be heavily populated. So here I've zoomed into the uh, to the Birmingham area where we've got two schemes, a scheme in the north, a scheme in the south. And because we're plugged into the government census data, I can click anywhere on the map, for example here, and that will give me the social grade of the area. And as you can see here, a big DE majority, um, 3,222 people in this area uh, are of the lowest social grade. Uh, so an ideal place to have the tennis for free scheme where there's not much uh, disposable income around that area. Uh, same here in the South Birmingham. We can click here where the SESTA scheme is. And um, we can see here that South Yardley, again, another big DE majority. So we can use this data to really work out the areas that will get the most impact from a tennis for free scheme where there is uh, least disposable income amongst the families in those areas. But we can also use it to click around the local areas and see um, whether areas uh, nearby are of any different social grades. So for example here in Sutton Coalfield, you can see here that it's a big A, B and C1 majority. So here you'd probably say that, it, you know, that the scheme isn't essential as perhaps it is further south, but that you can also see that people from that area are still coming along, which is absolutely fine. It's an all-inclusive scheme. But a great way to see the kind of the kind of people that are coming along to the various sessions. Okay, as you can see here, Courtline's also plugged into the uh, the police crime database, and we can see here whether tennis for free um, can have an impact in social inclusion areas. So, for example, here I can zoom in and see the geolocation of the tennis for free players, and here our site in Burnley, you can see up here, and. Um, and as you can see here, quite a, uh, a crime area and uh, a lot of from the areas where our tennis for free people seem to be living. The big advantage we've got of a master site is that they can go into any of the individual sections that a normal uh, court line site can and they can drop down and have a look at each of the sites underneath their master site to see the, the same stats that the standard site could look at as well. So here you could look at tennis for free in 2015 across Westburn or Queen's Park or, or various other different uh, sites under the standard site. There's one additional menu as well as the socio-economic we looked at before and that is the summary table. This is very useful because we can see all of the standard sites together in one table on our master site. And here we can see, for example, here, this is uh, since Courtline was introduced uh, at the beginning of 2014, we can see total attendances, uh, tennis for free, and that Queen's Park, this site in Burnley, has the highest number of attendances uh, of any of our sites. Now, this is a site that we just saw had uh, quite a high crime rate and is a DE social grade area. So we can really start linking together these stats to paint a picture of the scheme and its popularity and its effectiveness in the local areas. We can also change these stats as well. Sorry, their total, as you can see, 26,108 total attendances since we launched Courtline. Um, we can drop this down to attendees. So this is just individual people. Uh, so 792 at Belfield Park is the, is the, the highest individual players um, total. Uh, and then we can also do this for first-time attendees as well. In addition, we can simply drop down the any any date. So we can say, for example, uh, this weekend here, the 15th and the 16th of August, that uh, Gosford Central Park in Newcastle, uh, another area of, uh, of a DE uh, dominant area, and they've got 132 as their top scoring site of the week. And again, we can see how all of the sites fared with a total that week 
of 815 individual attendees. And again, we can drop that down to attendances and see that the total attendances uh, through whatever period that is, obviously that's the same date range, so attendees and attendances will be the same, but we can sort of say, let's have a look, say from the beginning of August uh, through to the current day, and we can see from August to date, our top site is Georgian's Tennis Club based on attendances. So a great way to, uh, to have a little look at all of the stats and have them in a summary table and see how those standard sites are performing uh, and draw some comparisons from them. So there you have it. There's the Tennis for Free uh, admin panel for a, a master site and, uh, and as you saw previously, the admin panel for a standard court line site. So how does all this look from a user's perspective? Well, first of all, they'll see lots of uh, information about the Tennis for Free scheme in the community. So, somebody interested in the scheme, having seen the banners, the posters, perhaps reading about it in the newspapers, they'll then visit the website for more information. They'll understand that they've just got to do a once-off registration. It'll take just a minute and add in their family members. And then once they've done that, they simply log in. And after logging in, they simply go down the page and there's a book box on the left-hand side for the Tennis for Free schemes. And from there, they can just book themselves in and each of their family members that will be attending. And as you can see, it just takes just a couple of seconds to book in the whole family or whichever family members are going to be attending. Okay, so on the day, the administrators of the Tennis for Free session have a slightly different screen from their login, an admin screen where they can print out the booking sheet so that they can come to the session with all of the attendees on a piece of paper and then add new attendees in via capture cards if anybody's not booked in. They can also use this this actually at the site from perhaps a tablet an iPad and book in attendees that haven't actually booked in um, those attendees that have not uh, created an account therefore can't just be booked in you can we can create an account for them uh, there and then just by putting in some details and then adding themselves in and any family members and they can be booked in there and then as well in session at that time on the site the sessions can also be cancelled from this screen um, if the weather's bad and the, and the review attendance button this allows the, the administrators to just check that the attendees are accurate and correct add in any new attendees and then submit the attendance uh, so, so there you can see that 77 people have come along and the different breakdown of this session uh, can be seen there obviously maybe the case that the tennis provider doesn't have an iPad so the call line has been designed in such a way that it can be responsive to the device it's being viewed on so here's an example of what the site will look like from a phone so here you can see it's mobile phone friendly the menus have changed and so I can perform the same process on my phone and book in people review the attendance uh, from a mobile phone which is uh, certainly a lot easier than perhaps an iPad and we can also ask the attendees of the Tennis for Free session if they wouldn't mind going on their phone to book in themselves as well uh, should they have a smartphone and that's available to, to them to do that. So that pretty much covers Courtline and how it links to Tennis for Free and how we capture those attendance stats and ensure they're accurate and so finally let's, uh, let's have a quick look what the Tennis for Free players themselves think of the scheme. I found out about it because I was going to the playing field to play football and they were playing it in the tennis courts. It was just really nice to do something a bit a bit more active than just the normal stuff that you, that you do at the park. It's quite fun and it's, it's nice to not play. So it's like, yeah, it's free for everyone. Good fun, got a bit of exercise. Not that I am... Um, I probably do need a little bit of exercise actually, a bit more than, than, I, than I'd get at the moment. Um, the kids had a good time, which is the main thing, because they get out because kids tend to be a bit lazy on the DS's and the Playstations and all that so uh, it's nice to get them out doing some sort of sport and uh, they, they enjoy playing tennis it looks like so uh, they will be coming here again I'll be coaching you lot in 10 years You'll be watching me on be the big the screen